do that at my party. So I found these two ropes in the trunk of her car. <laughs> Don't ask me what she does with them, but you don't want to get her mad, okay? Go ahead and feel them, Emily. They're solid. Good rope? No. All right. All you have to do is follow my lead. Go ahead and reach into the, or reach, look into the audience. And then reach for the sky. Put your hands up high, Emily. Because Miss Randy and I, we're going to take these two ropes, Miss Randy, right behind your back. Like double dutch. Go ahead and put one rope in each of your hands. Okay, double dutch. Go all the way in the end. It doesn't do anything. It just makes the trick look big. <laughs> Notice, the ropes cannot go up. Because Emily has on the hat, the ropes cannot go down because she has on the vest. So Miss Randy, if you hand me one rope, please. Check this out, Emily. This is what we call the knot of death. Everybody go. Ooh, throw some spookies at her. Spookies, spookies. Look scared or something. Relax. Put your hands behind the ropes. Behind the ropes. Take one step back. And Miss Randy, if you move forward just a little bit. And you notice, the harder we pull on the front rope, Miss Randy, the tighter it gets. Right, Emily? Oh, but we don't want to smush her, Miss Randy. Oh, no. Instead, let's wrap the ropes around our hands like so. Because I don't want to have to peel her off of the ceiling. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do, Miss Randy. I'm going to go one, two, three. And when I say pull, you and I, we're just going to pull as hard as we can at the same time. She's going, are you kidding me, lady? 